That's the first aid tent there. You can take on lost kids, too. I'll make sure you're hooked into the PA system. Um, what about equipment? Uh, Bernard McAllister's seeing to it. Any emergencies, contact me. I'm troubleshooting. <laughs> yes, and enjoying every minute of it. Why not? I hope we're all going to enjoy it. Punters, too. Especially the punters. Well, it won't be our fault if they don't. One, two, three, 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 three. Right, that's your stall over there, love. What time's Anne Harry coming? Don't worry, it's all under control. Good. I think we've thought of everything. I hope. Well, let's not say that till the end of the day. <laughs> car park's over there. I don't see any cars, do you? And I don't see any way you're going to get in here. Come on, Ben. knows what that lot are up to. If this goes well, it'll really get the heritage farm talked about. Won't do my bank overdraft any harm, either. <laughs> there you are, little lady. Welcome home. Shall we have a look at her? I've also this. <laughs> I don't think she's quite ready for things like that yet. That's lovely, Robert. I'll eat it for her, shall I? She's so little. Well, oh, wait till you hear the noise she can make. Right, we'll get you sat down, then I'll come and get the bags out of the car. It's all right, I'll get them. Oh, thanks. I feel as though I should carry you over the threshold or something. <laughs> I'll settle for you just putting the kettle on. No. Right. We've got too many of these. How do you know how many to get of things like this? Christmas, we ran out of wrapping paper. Just to get them out of market. Well, I hope we don't make too many mistakes along the way. We've got enough troubles as it is. I saw Joe Sugden yesterday. Oh, yeah. He's in a bad way. So he should be after what happened to Donna. It wasn't him that did it to her, was it? What is this, Vic? I think we should drop the court case. And why should we want to do that? I don't want to make enemies. We want compensation. Don't we just want to forget about it? Donna's been through enough. But it costs money. Solicitors don't come cheap, you know. We paid already. Well, some of it, yeah. I thought we'd get it back when we win. What if we don't win? You were so keen. Yeah, well, I hadn't really thought it through, had I? Well, nothing's changed. Look, let's just forget it, eh? Please, love. Why? Well, I can't really tell you just yet, but honestly, I know what I'm doing. Please, love. Trust me. Just this once. What about the money we've spent? Well, we just have to write it off. Like we're writing those off? Yeah. Well, I'll sell a bit more at Wally's yard and we'll make it back that way. <sighs> well, fancy dress, is it? No, it's my best gamekeeper's outfit for Easter Fair. I'm working at Heritage Farm again. Maybe that's why the village is so quiet. Oi, oi, oi! Come get it, Liz. Maybe the village is quiet. I told you not to come dashing in like that. He's watching this horrible video, all car crashes and shooting in. We want to watch this film. Look, can't you lot do anything better than watch television all day long? What are you dressed up like that for? Easter Fair. That'd give them something to do. I don't want to go to the Easter Fair. I want to watch the film. I'll give you some pocket money. Samson's going to be there. How much? How about we all go up there and uh, set up a stall selling Easter eggs, going cheap? <laughs> Been all the way round. Oh, go on the bikes. Um, all right. Watch where you're going. Hey, you gotta keep that animal under control. Hey. Yobbos. Not very young, that's all. 
That's a lot for them to do around here. The age they're getting ready. He looks great. Well, you know where the pony rides are. It's all marked out. And I don't need to tell you. But just make sure they all wear a riding hat before they get older. Uh, I won't be stopping. Why not? It's good fun. Good things to do. We really need somebody who can handle horses. And I'll be busy all day on the disaster appeal fun store. Just this morning. Well, you won't want to disappoint Sam. Yeah, all right. First aid tent. Uh, over there. I think Cathy thinks she's running a field hospital, the amount of kit she's got. <laughs> well, you'll know where to go if you have any casualties. How are things? Sarah brought the baby on this morning. Oh, yeah? Yes, I, I must drop in. No, what I meant was, how are things with you? All right. Had a terrible time recently. Haven't we all? Yeah, but it affects different people different ways. You do know that there's counselling available, don't you? Look, I don't want everyone poking their nose into my business, OK? I say, let's take what we can. The community deserves that. Besides, it helps with the statistics when it comes to compensation. Yeah, that's just what I am, the statistic. Another half ton of medical supplies. Looks like Frank expects us to be busy. <laughs> Have you got any hot water in there? You're not expecting anyone to give birth, are you? No, I just fancy a cup of coffee. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Looks like it's just you and me, Samson. Next time, it's your turn. Oh, she's so little. No excuses. It's what men do these days. You're supposed to have had the practice. You've had Robert. You've never expected me to. Sorry. It's not something we normally talk about. You know, this is a fresh start. Having a baby is not just a physical experience. It makes you think about all sorts of things. Other mothers. Yeah, well, that was in the past. Things I don't know about you. I've never changed a nappy before. That's my big secret in life. I don't want you to love her any less than Robert. I don't. Or more. Having her has made me want even more to be a good mother to Robert. I suppose... I just wanted to say he's not second best to me. I know. She's made us into a proper family. Yeah. We're lucky, aren't we? Seems almost too good to be true after all that's happened this year. Well, perhaps we've turned a corner. Perhaps she's going to bring us good luck. I wish Annie could see her. So do I. Well, we could take her, show her. But why don't we all go up to the hospital this afternoon? If you're feeling up to it. Why not? Ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to win a straw you'll probably never see again in your life. My famous, the funny down the trousers performance. What is Seth doing with that very hit? Don't even ask. Oh, I can't get this to stick. Oh, keep trying. And um, <laughs> mind, mind your skirt, do you? There we are, sir. Now, if you enjoy that, you'll, you'll know where to come. I didn't even want to take this stall, but if I hadn't, only Shuttleworth would have. Oh, that would never have done, would it? Do you do cider? Anything you wish. Well, I'll have a cider and uh, one of those with ice, please. Ah, oh, now, now, no, there you have me. Bit of a problem with the ice. Well, well, the ice cream van broke down, you see. And Alan had to do his Boy Scout act. No, we all have to pull together on a day like this. <laughs> um, that's a bit old-fashioned, isn't it? What is? Mr. and Mrs. Allen. Hasn't Shirley got a name of her own? Do you know, I never even noticed it. It'll have to come down. In front of all these people? I haven't had him long, you see. He'll train. <laughs> Everything going all right? Thank goodness the appeal store's going fine. People are bringing as well as buying stuff. Good. Everything's going well, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, I, I hope some of them will call in wolf pack on their way home. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with that horse? <laughs> it should be working. Tell us to look after him whilst he breaks. Oh, no, you don't. It's good stuff, this. I don't know why you don't have someone like this at wolf pack. What do you mean? Well, it's not yours. This is a new brew, Ram's own. The brew with the stems. Well, over there. 
What do you mean letting them in here? Free country, Alan. Hey, come out of there. Well, at least he likes our stuff. Yeah, come on, lad. I didn't expect to have a competitor. That's the idea of a market economy, Alan. Give the customers a choice. You ought to charge them for taking photos. I well, I'm a bit of a personality. No, I mean Samson. Don't see them as a rival. See it as an opportunity. I tell you what, I'll go and do some industrial espionage, shall I? Anybody got a pen and paper, Andy? <clears throat> she felt a bit soft coming over. Yeah? I don't know what they get so excited about, do you? Oh, I do. I wish I had a bike. The one way of getting out of this place. Don't you like it here? Oh, well, it's just so sad. You can't even hang out with your mates after school in case you miss the bus now. Sorts of things happen in Leeds. Yeah, if you're into early nights. 8.30 is the last bus home. We go on the bike. <laughs> See what I mean? You coming? Yeah. I might have a go myself. You can't. You're underage. Oh, stop sounding like Dad. Anyway, who's to know? Come on. I'll teach you. Just make sure you wear a helmet. <sighs> Big brothers. You as fed up as Jess? What about? Living in the country. No, it's all right. There's plenty of room for the bike. Anyway, I'll be leaving soon. Getting a job? University, if I get the grades. Mm. It's the easiest way of getting away from home. Yeah. Yeah, right. Feel the weight? Oh, it's heavy. It takes a bit of holding. I bet. Like most decent things in life. Do you want to get on? Yeah. Oh, is this all right? Yeah, why not? Give me a few tips. It's a bit nerve-wracking not having the nurses around to tell you what to do. You're telling me. First day I brought Scott home, he didn't stop crying. I don't know what I'd have done without my mum. You're younger than me and you've got teenagers. Do you think she'll mind having an older mum? You're always worrying about something with kids. You don't know how you're going to feel until you've actually got one. I understand now why you want compensation for Donna. I'd kill anyone who hurt her. I wish we'd never have started that. I wish you hadn't either. Vic thinks we should stop it. Are you saying you're not going to sue? Well, you've got enough on your plate. What's brought this on? Vic, I think he's getting soft in his old age. Still, it suits me and I reckon it suits you, so let's forget all about it, eh? Let's start afresh. Productivity with a job like this. That's the fifth lost child, and Dr. McAllister's on his third patching up job in there. So long as they're all having a good time. I hope Chris is all right. I feel guilty not visiting him. Don't worry about it. I'll call him soon when it's all over. Tell him how it went. Thanks, Frank. Hey, you all right? Mm. Well, if you say so. I wish I didn't feel so pleased about not visiting Chris. The lost kids are a blessed relief compared to hospital visits. He's coming home soon, isn't he? Next week. They say they've done all they can for him. Look, Cathy, you know it's not going to be easy, don't you? Yes, I know. You're still a young woman. <laughs> yes. Look, have you thought it through? I mean, have they explained everything? Well, I know he won't walk again. Yeah, well, other things. Have you thought what happens if you want to start a family? Chris and I weren't planning on having kids. Well, that solves that problem. 
What I meant was, have you thought about sex? I mean, there are things that you can do. Yes, I know. We are talking about the rest of your life. Look, I've made my mind up. It'll be all right. Well, if you want any advice. I'll, um, I'll ask for it. It's part of the job being told to mind your own business. Well, you just remember, I am here if you need me. Look at the place, it's dead. Oh, bank holiday, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, glad somebody's about. Thought I was living on the forgotten planet. Yeah, they're all up at the Easter Fair. Yeah, even my kids. Right, what can I get you all? Uh, two chalk houses and two clippers, please. I couldn't interest you in some Easter eggs, could I? Who said I wanted a calippo? Chunky chap, please. Calippo will do me fine. I'm surprised you're not up at the fair with the rest of them. They've got steam engines, Elder Skelter, pony rides, bouncy castle. Oh, yeah, right. No, it's all kids and grandmas up there. What say we get a video and go back to your place? Uh, I, I don't do videos. See, I told you there was nothing to do. Carry on blinking. Yeah. Thanks. You want to come out to the disco with us one night, you bored? Get Luke to bring you. Luke's not into discos. Better than staying at home. I'd have thought Latin American would be more your style. Why? Oh, very subtle. Yeah. It's his idea of a joke. Dolores sounds Spanish. It's after my grandma. She was Spanish. Really? So, what's your excuse for Bic? Come on. Have a sip. It's all right. Oh, you're just prejudiced. Seth. Rolling stuff. It's just like beer used to. You see, we could do our own brew. Have you any idea what's involved? You could call it the wool pack special. And it'll go down a treat if it's as good as what we teach. And all the profit will go into your own pocket. Scott, take it for a minute, will you? <laughs> Give us a pint. Kids, they don't know one end of all from another. One actually said, is it a rocky note? Oh. Now, they've probably never ever seen a real horse before. If you want to look at the real horse, you want to go and watch ploughing demonstrations. They're doing it proper way. One man and two horses. I hope they've got a plough, sir. I remember my granddad being good at that. He had the best eye in the country for straight for her, didn't he? You know, I'd really like to see that, Seth. Well, I can't wait for that. Let's go. Right. Well, just a minute. Who's going to look after the beer tent? Well, you are. I mean... After all, it is your name up there. What are you going to call her? Good question. I keep making these lists. Oh, I know. And Jack keeps saying no. At least I only had myself to please. Well, me and my mum. Oh? You know, Scott's dad. He wasn't bothered about things like that. Jack's bowled over with her. It's like he's had 30 Christmases rolled into one. Well, just enjoy her while she's small. It gets harder when they get older. Scott? No. Donna. She follows me around like a lost soul. Trouble is, I really haven't got the time for her with trying to get this business off the ground. Yeah. The only thing she seems interested in is that horse Seth rescued. Well, if she's interested in horses, why don't you let her learn to ride? Have a word with Kim. There you are. All ready for the hospital. But you just brought her home. We're taking her to see Annie. Not that Annie will know, but at least we can always tell her she's met her grandma. He's not doing too bad. Yeah, it looks easy, just like going for a walk. Oh, well, it's not easy at all. That's half the knack, making it look as if it is. This is how country life should really be. Walking up and down the fields all day long. We're all enjoying ourselves, aren't we? Well done, lad. Your granddad would be proud of you. Yeah, I remember him talking about it. He said it was the only way to plough. Yeah, well, the two horses done most of the work. 
They only do it for those they like. Clever animals, horses. Well done, Joe. And well done, Samson. The baby's lovely. It seems so happy. Doesn't cry. Let's feed him well. I don't know. She looks so tiny and helpless. Made me quite tempted to have another go myself. No chance. We've got enough problems as it is. Been busy? Oh, yes, yeah. We had four coachloads of people stretched all the way down the block past Dr. McAllister's right round to the church. No, we haven't been busy. We'll be putting holly on them and flogging them at Christmas. Trade will pick up. The heritage farm will bring people into the village. No, it won't. It'll bring people into the heritage farm. All it means is that they'll spend all the money up there instead of down here like they did today. Well, we just have to come up with some bright idea. Uh, you're not getting me dressing up like Seth. Seemed to work for Frank Tate. Frank Tate has got the bank behind him. And what have I got? Me. You're right. And at least the Easter fair kept the kids out from under our feet. It looked like it's been a very good day. Yeah, not a bad send-off for the heritage farm. It's funny, isn't it? Three generations ago, our ancestors leave the land for the cities. Now, all of a sudden, the countryside's become fashionable again. Or a sanitised version, eh? I wonder how many of these people came because of the fair and how many because of the crash. Hi. Hi. We're practically cleaned out. No more plum jam, no more homemade cakes. Oh, I hope you saved a cake for us. No, I didn't. You don't even like cake. Unless it's a poisoned one. What? Something to give to Danny. He's due tomorrow, isn't he? Afraid so. I think it's too late to sell this. People are packing up. Where did that come from? Another donation from a well-wisher. Somebody found it in their grandmother's attic. Thought it might help the fund. Could be worth a tenner for the frame. I don't know, it might be worth a bit more than that. It's worth getting it properly valued. An old master in the attic. Oh. Now that only happens in the papers. It might be worth a try. Here you are, Ma. Here's your first granddaughter. Your only granddaughter. She's lovely. She's absolutely perfect. I only wish you could see her. We could call her Annie. Victoria. Annie Victoria. Victoria Ann. <sighs> right. So here you are, Victoria Ann. Here's your grandma. Oh. <laughs> she was born in this town, just like you were. And she was brought up here, just like you will be. And one day, when you're a big girl, I'll tell you how I brought you to the hospital to see your grandma when you were just a tiny... Jack, what? look. Look at her, look at your mother. She moved, I know she did, look. Ma? It's nothing. No, you're right, she did move. Ma, Ma, look. Here she is, Victoria Ann. She's come to see you, she wants to say hello. It's no use, Jack. It was just a twitch. Ma? 